I'm ready to rip, whip up another tasty treat for the 12 days of treats. I'm so stupid and ridiculous, but this is what you get. So anywho, guys, is everybody starting to go a little crazy? I, I know I am. I have so much to do. So little time. So much overtime at work. I'm um, trying to fit it all in because, you know, I loves me money um, and do these videos. And, of course, I procrastinate on the weekends like everybody else and gets, you know, has to get involved with the football games. So, anywho, um, I got a quick little um, recipe for you today. And uh, very few ingredients. You can do it. It's a great treat to put in little cellophane bags with a nice little Christmas tie and give them to your friends and family or bring it over as a nice little salty sweet snack for them to munch on or when they come to your house to visit. Legacy glasses, I know you do. <laughs> okay, now you, Seymour. You haven't met Knox still because Knox is timid, but Seymour's driving me nuts. Worse than three toddlers at your feet at all times. But anywho, let's get the party started. I'm gonna bring you over so you see what we make in. Uh, let's see, I bend you down. There you go. I am at the stove and in this pan, all I have is one cup of butter, okay? Wait, do you see this? This is so cool. I didn't even tell you what we're making, did I? I should have turned the heat way up because you have to let it boil for two whole minutes. So I got the sugar. It's like, oh, oh no, what the fuck? Anyway, oh, it's already starting to boil quick. Any, oh, I mean, that isn't very Christmassy laying out the F word like that. You know what I mean? At least I waited until 30 seconds in the video so I can still get monetized. <laughs> okay, I don't really need the $1.42 that much. So anywho, this is one cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar, all right? You have to bring it to a boil, keep stirring it a little bit for two whole minutes. Starting to already boil, you just want to make sure that that butter is incorporated really good with the sugar. So I'm going to keep stirring it a little bit. So this doesn't take long. There, I do spill some more butter on my red shirt. Do you two love just watching me stir shit? You don't have anything better to do. I know that. Lots. I know you got lots to do. So I appreciate you spending your time with me. Um, guys, for real. You've heard of crack candy with the crackers and stuff. I know you've had bark, homemade bark, peppermint bark, chocolate bark, nut bark, all different kinds of barks. Come on, get fluffy fluffy. Okay? Now, what I'm going to be making here, kids, is, look, look at that. Getting all nice and bubbly. Two minutes, you don't want to burn it. So you just want to make sure it gets nice and caramely. Um, we're going to be spreading, we're going to be making oyster cracker churro bites. How does that sound, guys? So, you know how I always say, you know, get what you got. Well, in this recipe, guys, all right, I'm going to go another minute. Hold that thought. Don't let me forget the thought that I was just going to tell you. All right, see this? Look at this. Getting to that nice caramely stage. All right, I think we're good. So what you have to do, oh yeah, this is good. All right, you don't want to burn it or overcook it. You want to take it off the heat. Heat, taking it off the heat. Turning it off. Come on, we're coming over here. We're coming over here. All right, look, okay. Look what I got here. How quick, easy was that? But wait, we're gonna do this part first. We have two ingredients we gotta throw in here. All right? Oh, it smells so good. We gotta throw this cinnamon in here. It's one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I know that's all I had in there, so we're good. Okay, now we gotta stir this up really good. Oh my God. So you thought you had, like, uh, your kitchen was smelling like sugar and butter? My God, now you should smell it with the cinnamon. It's getting real dark. Look at the color for, from that cinnamon. Oh, my God. Guys, make sure. Look. 
Look at this consistency. Look at this beautiful cinnamon caramel. All right. Now, they said to pour it, put the crackers on your cookie sheet, she cookie sheet and do this. I'm doing it like this. I want to make sure everything is coated really good. Okay. Look, I would, I would recommend doing this instead of trying to stir them on a cookie sheet lined with foil. Look at these babies. There's five and a half cups of oyster crackers. What I wanted to tell you, I told you to hold that thought. These are Nabisco, the original. You have to use these. If you try to use Aldi brand, Save-A-Lot, Kroger, whatever, they break apart. They're too thin. They're not hearty enough. Don't skimp out. You got to buy the real deal Nabisco. All right? And each bag makes one batch. There's exactly five cups in a bag, which I thought was amazing. So if you want to double up, double it up. Okay? So, look at this. How easy breezy is this? Right? Now look at that. They're all perfectly coated. And now spread them out. Okay? My God, it smells so good. Okay? Okay, okay. Look at this. Then we're going to pop them in a 350 degree preheated oven, guys. Uh, uh. And they got to bake for 10 minutes in the oven. So try to get them as flat as you can. All right. I think this was way better than pouring the mixture on top of the crackers. I really, really do. Everything got coated good. Because you want to break up big pieces. So you can do this ahead of time. All right. And now I'm going to pop it in the oven. And I'll flip you up and we'll chat for one minute. Okay. Popping it in. Pop. Oh, oh, there we go. In the oven, flip you up. How is that? Good, easy. Yeah, I know. You'll be jingle bells in all the way to the goddamn party. Anywho, um, when this is done, it's got to go in the oven for yeah, 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna pull it out and uh. We'll do the next step, all right? So don't go away. It's not gonna take long. Pour yourself a drink and be right back. Hello, I'm back. All right, just washed my bowl. Guys, I love my new bowls. I love them so much. Um, I, It smells like heaven. Who doesn't like sugar, cinnamon, butter? Me. I'll put the camera right that along. So anyway. I'm doing the dishes up. It's, I'm pulling it out right now, but I thought I'd start the video just a tad bit early so we can do a little holiday cheer. Mmm. Mmm. Pinkies up. Skinny Baileys. As much Baileys, then some skim milk. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. Um, okay, let's pull it out. Let's get it out. And do the next step. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Oh, I think he, I don't think he gave me anything. But a hangover. What did your true love give you? Okay, let's see. It's bendy bendy. Uh, uh, all right. Okay, you see it? All right, so look at this, all sugary coated. Okay, so I la now here's the next part. We got to make them churro style. Oh, look, I was going to dump this on. <laughs> that would have been classic Wicked Penny, huh? Guys, three tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. And here comes the churro part. Generously sprinkle it all over them. My God, right guys? How about that? Oh my God! Don't you just want to eat this whole tray? All right, so then you stir it up so everything gets coated with sugar and cinnamon. All right, look. Oh, oh, man down. Oh. We got crispy up. 
Oh, they're flying everywhere. Mm. Mm. Give it a little boo bump. Oh, that was actually my stomach. They're low, but they're not that low. Okay, hang on. Guys, come on. Can you do this? Because if I can do it, you sure as hell can. Oh, something just flew out of my mouth. Oh, good. Thank God it didn't go all over the crackers. Okay. So then, you want them as flat as possible? Because, oh! Because, um, you're going to be breaking them apart. You don't want to break up big, big, big glops of them, okay? Okay. And that's it. OMG. Mm, 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 mm. Guys! Mm. You gotta let them cool. Then you break them apart and put them in little packages and shit. You know, how about a little dippy in the Baileys? Mm. Guys, wanna, wanna, wanna up close and personal view? Look at this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 Oh. Mm. There we go. Ah. My bad. Okay. <sighs> yum, yum, yum. Okay, guys. I hope you like this treat. Super easy. Let it cool completely. They're crunchy, crunchy. Put them in bags. Put them in an airtight container. Take them to a party. If for some reason moisture gets near them in a container once it's sealed and you put them in there too hot and they feel soggy to you, pop them in the oven to crisp them up again and let them cool. Um, I wouldn't recommend freezing. The condensation will make the sugar inside a little goopy. So, but for real, make them, throw them in those bags and take them to work. People will love you for it. All right. Keep following along to the 12 Days of Treats and I hope you like this one because it's delicious. Have a great day. Peace.